to start off by saying something that has remained unsaid. Forcing 62 people to lie face down on the grubby floors of the Eagle constitutes a human rights violation, the scale of which the Geneva Convention needs to address. I'd rather be waterboarded. <laughs> It's a really good thing that this didn't happen in another, in another bar like Blake's where the crowd is younger and frankly drunker because people would have been hurt. Imagine the police storming into Blake's in the middle of one of the drag queen shows where one of them was trying to hit the high note in their finale. People would have gotten hurt, especially the police. And we can't, and we can't afford that because there's not enough police on the streets in the first place. Okay, here's my point, and I do have one. This isn't about the eagle. It's not about defending this bar. It's about protecting the next one. It's about protecting our right to assemble in a peaceable way without fear of harassment from the police. Now, I want to make a statement that I believe that this rape was in part motivated by a deep fear and hatred of gay people. Yeah. Yeah. You've heard of the gay panic defense. This was the gay panic offense. Because I ask you, what is the calculation when there are rapes, robberies, and murders in this city that the police actually say, on the one hand, there's home invasions. On the other hand, there's homo hand jobs. What is the calculation that says that gay people, that the possibility, the possibility of sex is greater, is a greater threat than the reality of crime? Why? Why would you take police away from the streets to protect us from armed burglaries, assaults, home invasions, so that you can arrest eight people who are dancing in their underwear without a license. Why, I ask you, gay panic, the belief that the police must have, that we, everyone here, poses a greater threat to the city than crooks, criminals, and convicts. And that is wrong. So, what I want to leave you with is something I just want to say it bluntly. We were mugged by the police. We were mugged by the police. They stuck a gun under our ribs and said, give it up or else. They stole our dignity the way crooks steal our wallets. And you know what? The standard of advice when you get mugged is don't resist. And we didn't. But any cop worth his salt will tell you that if you want to avoid future muggings, you cannot make yourself so vulnerable. Amen. Amen. Okay? And that, muggers like easy targets. Yeah. We are not going to be easy targets. Yeah. So let me just end with one sentence, okay? Don't be a victim. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah.